UCLA 600 student athletes have a lot to think about with class, training sessions, practice, and games. But for four years now, they've been asked to add one more thing to their plate of responsibilities, food. Becky Twombly is the Bruins Director of Sports Nutrition, and it's her job to make sure that when athletes are asked to perform, they have the fuel they'll need to deliver. Dietitians are kind of a new addition to a lot of athletic departments, and many athletic departments have not hired a dietitian yet. I like to think of us as being kind of where athletic trainers and strength and conditioning was about 20 years ago. When I was playing football, no one lifted weights. So it started off with weightlifting, and now people are much more aware of calories and fat grams and trans fats and everything else that goes along with that. When an athlete comes into UCLA, they initially get a pre-participation exam. They are screened for any nutritional risks. We figure out what their goals are, whether they want to be stronger, faster, fatigue less. I'll look at those results and look for any triggers that are going to tell me whether or not somebody needs to have some intense nutrition education. Once Becky has the info she needs, a meal plan goes into action, and athletes record what they eat with UCLA's nutrition software. Accessible from any computer or smartphone, it allows the athletes and Becky to monitor progress. Those results are then assessed with a piece of technology called the Bod Pod. The Bod Pod is a body composition measuring machine that allows us to know how much lean body mass the athlete has, how much fat mass the athlete has, and to really come up with some meal plans that are going to be accurate for their body type and for their needs. It's a critical piece to this big puzzle that three years ago one of the things we talked about is we really needed to get our nutrition in dialed in so that our athletes could make the gains that we wanted them to make. I've gone from like 190 to 220 in three years and haven't lost any of my speed. There was one point where I did gain a lot of weight really fast and I could barely move. I just stuffed my face with many calories I could and they were usually bad calories like ice cream and stuff so it wasn't functional. When I started working with Becky a lot more and working with healthier foods. I was just like exponential increases in what I was doing. While football players may be Becky's largest consumers, her impact is just as big for some of UCLA's smaller athletes. Take last year's NCAA champion gymnastics team, for example. With 22 sports, different genders, different cultures, all of that sort of thing, we're getting every body type, every type of athlete. So what we have to do is go back to the individualization. A gymnast is going to need a lot less carbohydrate than a cross-country runner just because of the power that needs to be generated during a gymnastics routine versus the distance that's required. So we're taking all of those different elements and creating a meal plan to meet that athlete's needs. Nutrition is key in gymnastics especially because one, it's a mental game. If you eat healthy and you nourish your body, you feel better. And two, we're doing so much impact on our body that you definitely feel the difference between if the day before you train you ate healthy or you kind of splurged a bit and lost your path a little bit, but Becky tells us all the time it's about moderation, it's not about not eating something. When they leave here, they shouldn't need to hire a dietitian. They already had one for four years. I'm teaching them how to eat so that when they get out of here, they can do it for themselves. Nutrition is the final frontier. Nobody has tackled that as far as it could go. Nutrition will take training that these athletes are getting to a whole new level so that they're benefiting from every rep in the weight room, every snap on the field.